This week we're heading north to the gateway into our Kimberley, Broom, founded off the back of the pearling industry in 1883 and named after Sir Frederick Broom, our then Governor of WA. 15,000 people call Broome home. Another 30,000 will come here during the peak of the season, making tourism a very important part of the local economy. And there's so much to see and do. Today, the pearl industry still thrives here because of the pristine azure blue waters, high tides, and the sophistication of the pearl farming industry these days. Broome's Australian South Sea pearls may not be common or in high volume, but because of their quality, they make up 80% of the world's South Sea pearl market value. Willie Creek Pearls is a great example of a producer doing amazing things out of the Kimberley. There are so many things to do and see here in Broome, but one of the things you've got to make sure you check out is Chinatown. This strip is fascinating, amazing history. It's a great place for a bit of shopping, also a terrific place to get something to eat. And if you want to finish the day off with something very special, make sure you take a trip just over here to Sun Pictures. It's the world's oldest outdoor picture cinema. And then there's the world famous Cable Beach the simply divine sunsets, something you have to see to really appreciate. And there's no better way to see it than on a bike, on the beach, riding past some camels. Where else but WA? There are some great accommodation options here and so many things to see and do around Broome. I'll show you a bit more over the next couple of episodes.